Embark on a journey where gardens bloom with more than just earthly wonders, and every plant tells a story of distant stars and galaxies. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to join us on more magical adventures as we dive into the enchanting world of Gugu Gabby's Galactic Garden. In the heart of a bustling city, where skyscrapers kissed the clouds and streets hummed with life, there lived a young girl named Gugu Gabby. Gabby was a beacon of joy in her neighborhood, known for her bright smile and wild curly hair that mirrored the untamed spirit of her ancestors. Her parents, both botanists, had instilled in her a love for plants and the stories they hold. Gabby's garden, a lush oasis amidst the concrete jungle, was her sanctuary, a place where she could connect with her roots and the earth. Her best friend, Goo Goo Girl, was the yin to her yang. With her sleek braids adorned with colourful beads and a mind as sharp as a tack, she was the perfect adventure companion for Gabby. Together, they would sit in the garden, surrounded by fragrant flowers and towering plants, dreaming of galaxies far away and the wonders they held. One sunny afternoon, while digging in her garden, Gabby unearthed a peculiar seed. It shimmered like a tiny star, pulsating with a strange energy. Gabby's heart raced with excitement. This is no ordinary seed, she thought. This must be from another planet. She shared her discovery with Goo Goo Girl, whose eyes lit up with wonder. They decided right then. They would grow a garden with plants from across the galaxy. Their journey began with the construction of their spaceship, the Bloom Voyager. It was a marvel, built from recycled materials and powered by renewable energy, with glass walls allowing light to pour in and nourish the plants. Gabby adorned the interior with African fabrics and symbols, a reminder of their roots and the strength they carried. As the Bloom Voyager set off into the starlit sky, Gabby and Goo Goo Girl waved goodbye to their families, promising to return with stories and seeds from across the universe. Their first stop was Aquaria, a planet covered in vast oceans and home to the water whispers, a plant that sang melodies when touched by water. They met the Aquarians, beings of peace and wisdom, who taught them the importance of conserving water and respecting the ocean. Next, they journeyed to Solara, a planet ablaze with constant sunshine. Here, they encountered the Sun Bloom, a plant that thrived in intense heat and emitted a warm glow. The Solarans, radiant beings of light, shared with the girls the power of solar energy and the importance of embracing one's inner light. But their adventure wasn't without challenges. A cosmic storm caught them off guard, scattering their collected seeds and damaging the Bloom Voyager. Stranded on the mysterious planet of Shadowmere, they faced their biggest challenge yet. Shadowmere was a planet of darkness, with plants that glowed in the absence of light. The girls had to navigate this unfamiliar terrain, learning to find beauty in darkness and understanding that even in the bleakest of places, life finds a way. With the help of the Shadowmerians, a resilient and resourceful people, Gabi and Goo Goo Girl repaired their ship. They taught the girls about the power of adaptability and the strength that comes from facing one's fears. In return, Gabby and Goo Goo Girl shared stories of their home, spreading messages of hope and unity. As they continued their quest to retrieve their lost seeds, they encountered various challenges. From navigating through asteroid fields to outsmarting space pirates, each obstacle tested their courage, wit, and the strength of their friendship. Along the way, they met other space travelers, each with their own unique stories and lessons to share, further enriching the girls' understanding of the galaxy's diverse inhabitants. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity of adventures and close calls, Goo Goo Gabby and Goo Goo Girl returned to their home planet, their spaceship bursting with seeds from all corners of the galaxy. They were greeted with cheers and smiles, their families and friends eagerly awaiting their return. Gabby's garden transformed into a galactic wonder, a testament to their journey and the unity of the cosmos. Plants of all shapes, sizes and colours thrived together, creating a tapestry of life that stretched towards the sky. The starlight blossom from Twinkleton, the first to bloom, became the garden's centrepiece, its soft glow a constant reminder of their incredible journey. The garden became a place of learning and inspiration, where children from the neighbourhood would gather to hear Gabby and Goo Goo Girl's tales of the stars. They learned about different planets, 
the importance of conservation and the power of friendship and perseverance. As the sun set on the city, casting a golden hue over Gaby's galactic garden, the two friends sat amidst the flora, their hearts full of joy and minds buzzing with dreams of their next adventure. They had not only brought the universe to their backyard, but had also sown seeds of hope, unity and understanding, showing that even the smallest of gardens could hold the wonders of the galaxy. Their laughter echoed into the night, a melody as timeless as the stars, a reminder that with love, courage and a dash of curiosity, the universe was theirs to explore. And so, Gugu Gabi's galactic garden thrived, a beacon of light in the heart of the city, a place where dreams took root and blossomed into reality. Just like the vibrant plants in Gugu Gabi's garden, remember that diversity and curiosity can make our world a more beautiful place. If this story has inspired you, please like and share, and stay tuned for more heartwarming tales that celebrate the magic of discovery and friendship. Gugu Girls! In the heartwarming town of Luminara, nestled among gentle hills and sparkling streams, the annual Festival of Lights was not just an event. It was a celebration of togetherness, joy, and the magic of light. In this town lived two special friends, Gugu Girl and Gugu Gabby, known for their adventurous spirits and unbreakable bond. Gugu Girl, with her vibrant braids adorned with colorful beads and a smile that lit up the room, was the heartbeat of every gathering. Her home was filled with the warmth of her family's love, and their house always had an extra plate at the dinner table for friends. Her best friend, Goo Goo Gabby, was the thinker. With her keen eyes always hidden behind a book, she was the master of plans and ideas. Her home was a cosy haven filled with books and the delicious smell of her grandmother's cooking, a reminder of their rich cultural heritage. This year, as the Festival of Lights approached, a shadow fell over Luminara, the lights that usually shone like diamonds in the night began to dim, casting a gloom over the town. The elders, with their wise eyes and gentle voices, shared an ancient tale of a mystical source that powered the festival, a radiant spring hidden deep in the enchanted forest. Determined to bring back the light to their beloved town, Gugu Girl and Gugu Gabi set out on a quest. They bid farewell to their families, promising to return with the light that would save the festival. Hand in hand, with hearts brimming with courage, they ventured into the forest. The enchanted forest was a world out of a storybook. Trees glowed with soft, otherworldly light, and curious, friendly creatures peeped from behind the leaves, whispering secrets of the forest. The friends were amazed but focused on their mission. Their first encounter was with a wise old owl perched on a gnarled branch. Answer my riddle and the path shall open, it hooted. Goo Goo Girl's intuition and Goo Goo Gabby's intellect shone as they solved the riddle, their success strengthening their bond. Deeper into the forest, they stumbled upon a mirror maze of illusions. Reflections twisted and turned, confusing reality and imagination. Trusting in each other, they navigated through, learning that sometimes the heart sees clearer than the eyes. Finally, they arrived at the radiant spring, only to find it nearly dry. A shimmering firefly, Lumina, appeared. The spring requires a sacrifice of something precious to flow again, she explained. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby thought of their cherished memories, the laughter, the music and the joy of past festivals. With heavy hearts but resolute spirits, they offered these memories to the spring. As their memories glimmered in the air, the spring began to glow and water bubbled up, bright and pure. They had succeeded. The magical source was restored. Returning to Luminara, they were greeted as heroes. The Festival of Lights was more beautiful than ever. The lights danced in the sky, laughter filled the streets, and the air was thick with the sweet smell of traditional pastries. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby watched the festival, their hearts full. They had salvaged their town and, in the process, learned about sacrifice, love, and the unbreakable bond of friendship. As they made a promise to always stand by each other, they realized that the true magic of the Festival of Lights was not just in the dazzling lights, but in the warmth of their community and the enduring strength of their friendship.